Welcome to Mannerheim Line, or Arctic Region as it used to be called. Now the quick 30 seconds for this map is medium tanks and faster heavy tanks. Also a light tank can push here right at the start, but just around here. Light tank would push here right at the start just to get a bit of vision to see whether or not you know there is anyone coming up because you can actually go all the way up to here and then spot anyone that's trying to cross. So that's something to take into consideration for your light tanks. But medium tanks and faster heavy tanks, you want to go around here and battle it out for this corner of the map. If you win this corner of the map, then the chances are that you can actually do an aggressive flank and actually get behind the enemy. Um, down the bottom of the map here is where most of the heavy tanks are going to go, around here, and battle it out. Now, if you are in a slower heavy tank, you don't really have any other options of, of going here. Because if you go up here and you lose, you can't retreat fast enough. And if you go up here and you win, you can't push fast enough. So it's kind of not really advisable to go up here in a very slow heavy tank, like a mouse or something. When you'll be much better off going down here and just battling it out down uh, for this location. The only problem with this map is once you do go down here is that you kind of very open to any TDs or artillery straight away and you can't, it's very hard to push this. I don't have a magic solution for this um, and as we're going through the spots I'll explain why it's so hard to actually push this. Um, but light tanks there is a spot in D7 as well and TDs you can see up here and, or even support your medium tanks around here. So let's now get into the spots. Okay, so the first spot that I'm going to show you is D7. Um, straight away, I would recommend going to this spot, basically in any tank, uh, well, apart from EBRs, um, the lower tier EBRs anyway. Um, EBRs are more suited to active scouting and don't have a lot of view range in the lower tiers especially. But just this position around here, you'll get plenty of vision. Anyone that tries to peek up here, which is located up here, will get spotted instantly. And anyone that's trying to make it a push here or even around here into this bush right there where a lot of tanks will go, you'll spot them. Um, as long as you do get here first. But this is a great spot for early on in the game. Let's now move on to the next spot. Now the next spot is just active scouting around here. Now you can use this to your advantage early on in the game especially because you'll be able to spot anyone that's trying to push here. So if you're in an EBR, this is a great spot to go to. Um, just make sure that you do bump yourself up onto this ridge line a little bit because then you can actually see over the, that hill there. Uh, also, anyone that is... Ignore my absolutely amazing driving. Anyone that is actually sitting over here as well, you will spot. So this spot's very nice. Just back back off now and again. You don't want to be always kind of in the open. You want to be as in the open as little time as possible because it only takes a split second for you to actually, you know, spot someone. So get back straight away after you've actually spotted them. Okay, so now for the other side of the map, um, and I'm going to show you this bush right here. Now this is where you want to be early on in the game, uh, in basically any light tank. The same as D7 is great for any light tank, this is exactly the same for this position here. So what you want to do, you actually have kind of two choices, although not really, because you want this bush, but if someone else is in this bush then you could try and go up there, although it's not really amazing uh, up there compared to down here. Uh, just make sure that you are in the bush and not off to the side here because then you'll get spotted. Uh, but this, if you get here fast enough, then you can actually spot the person that's going into this bush. Especially if you're in a faster tank than the opposition. So this spot's really nice and you've got pretty much exactly the same kind of view range. Um, for where you're looking compared to that. So you'll spot any TDs that are sitting up here, which is over there. And anyone also that is going across here early on in the game, like the heavy tanks, you'll be able to spot them. So you could, in fact, spot them and pull back behind the bush and then try and shoot, although you need to be very, very careful when you do that because, yep, there's probably a light tank in that bush. So just keep that in mind. And then the final spot for this is going to be the active spot. It's just exactly the same as the other side, but just around here. Um, now, you do have a bit more cover because you can go dip down into here and use this basically very much to your advantage and pop up anywhere along this ridge line. Uh, there's plenty of spots that you can go to. You can even back all the way off, back down into your spawn if you really wanted to. Uh, but there's plenty of locations that you can keep popping up and annoying the enemy from. So just anywhere around here, just active spot. Pull back as soon as you're spotted, get unspotted, do the same thing again. Um, yeah, that's basically it for light tanks. Let's now move on to the medium tanks. Okay, so medium tanks. 
And this is the spot that you should go to. Uh, there's not really anywhere else that you should go. I mean, you could play around in the middle of the map and play peekaboo with enemies, but not really advisable because you're, you're, you're open to too many locations. If you pop up here, you're open to this, this, everywhere, uh, even over here. Um, whereas over here, you can get behind this bush, for example, let your team spot the enemy and just shoot through the bush. Um, and you'll stay relatively safe. You can't really get shot from anywhere apart from artillery, um, but this is absolutely fine. So this, and also you can use this bush to spot them, which is why I kind of said that light tanks can go here, because if you get a light tank and just sit here, as long as like you've got light tanks that are either in D7 or active scouting, um, then you should be okay. Like If you've got three light tanks on your team and you've got one person that's scouting and one person in D7, then they're the two spots taken up. You shouldn't really go and fight your own team to get spots, so you might as well go here and try and be useful. Um, but yeah, this spot's very nice. You can back off, you can push this. Um, when you know that there's no enemies there, if you get here very, very fast, for example, uh, then you can actually push this uh, and go close, and then that, that way you'll be able to spot the enemies that are on this corner by proxy spotting them or just spotting them outright, uh, and then your team can actually shoot them. So you'll get all the assistance. Uh, but yeah, just around here, be warned, on the other side, uh, obviously you'd want to be just around this corner and just holding, but on the other side over here, there is uh, this spot here where you can go back and there's a rock, so you just need to be careful of that. Also, if you go far enough back, you will actually be able to get cover from this bush to shoot the enemy, and you won't actually be spotted. So just keep that in mind, if you do realise that you're getting shot at and you can't see them, more than likely they're behind this rock or around here. So, yep, that's this spot. You can go up there as well, although you're massively exposed. Uh, so only do that if you know that the last few enemies are down here and not over there. Because if you start peeking up here and trying to shoot these, then this you're going to get crossfired by over here. So just keep that in mind, and vice versa. Um, if you go up here and try and shoot them, then you're going to get shot from over here. So keep all of that in mind when you're using this position. Uh, that's basically it for medium tanks on both sides. Uh, the only other location that you could go is around here. But at the same time, you're massively exposed to everything, basically. So it's not really worth it. So stay around here, either up here or here for medium tanks, and you should be good. Okay, so heavy tanks. Now, down here is where I would advise you to go. You can either try and side scrape along here and just, you know, take shots. Or you can go over to this rock right here uh, and keep pulling backwards and forwards um, you know taking your shots pulling back uh, and as you kind of hold down here so you should be okay um, the only thing that you need to watch out for is anyone sitting in the dip over there which I'll show you in a second um, or behind these rocks so anyone over this side of the map um, if you go like this for example you can they can take easy shots into you um, so you gotta keep that in mind and just keep peeking backwards and forwards at all times uh, this spot does work, but you just got to keep in mind over there. Now straight away, the enemies will probably push down here, and also you're going to have some people down here. So this is where the main battle will take place, all the way down there, uh, and also around this corner. So that's basically this uh, bit of the map. It's not very fun, uh, because one, everyone kind of has an open location to go to afterwards. Um, and this is why the main the main problem with this bit of the map. So basically, once one of the team wins, let's say our team wins, um, so they're going to try and push this. You can't really push this reliably. Um, all they need is someone sitting in one of these bushes, which is over here, and they they can easily spot you. So they'll spot anyone that's coming through, and then they have TD sitting up here and around here, just absolutely pummeling you. There's nothing that you can do about it. Sometimes you're not even going to get spotted. Um, they're not even going to get spotted by shooting you. So it's kind of it's kind of stupid. And exactly the same thing goes for this side. It's very hard to actually push from this location. Once you win it, that's great. But then you've got to try and push this. Which is why I said at the start, it's useful to, for this team to win this and then move. Because the exact same thing happens on the other side. They're going to get to here, and then TD sitting up here or around here, just easy shots onto you. Albeit, yes, they're a lot closer, so you will be able to spot them most of the time. So it's not as bad for this side moving up, whereas this side is kind of just awful. Um, 
The exact same thing over here, they can push this and flank them. So this bit of the map is a lot more important than you actually realize. If you win this side of the map and dominate this area, then you can have a lot of uh, opportunities to win the game. Um, if you win down here, it's not as critical, uh, because as long as you have good defenses on either team, you're fine. Um, so take that into consideration. But yeah, that's the heavy tanks. It's not really, you know, you haven't really got a lot of things to do on this map. Uh, what you can do, you can move or at least try and go along here. But I would not advise anyone to try and do this because one is kind of stupid um, and you're going to die most of the time doing this. But you can get to this spot here. Uh, there is a way that you can go where it's kind of a little bit not as exposed, but you're just going to end up sliding down the mountain. So I wouldn't advise trying to do this. Um, it's good for tanks that have got a lot of gun depression, but tanks that haven't, like the 277, it's kind of useless. Uh, the spot that I was going to show you over the back here is right here. Again, you're going to need a lot of gun depression to do this. Uh, much like with the spot that's there, you're going to need gun depression basically everywhere along here. Um, if you don't have gun depression, then don't use this spot. It's not worth it. Um, but you can move up along here, for example. And again, this is a great spot. Imagine uh, a Cranval or something like that, or a Mil 2, just sitting here. Um, you know, you can just dominate from this position. Um, and there's lots of different positions that you can go to along the way. So the only thing that you need to worry about in this position is one HE and RT, obviously. Uh, but okay, yeah. so for the TDs. Um, up here and basically just supporting your team from around here. Uh, I will show you the, obviously the other side over here and you can go around here as well. Um, obviously there's a few more spots on the other team that you can go to um, compared to this side. Uh, whereas you can go up here although you're kind of a bit too far away. Uh, this spot right here is useful for early on in the game trying to shoot the light tank then you can pull back straight away because you will have got spotted more than likely. Um, by the light tank that's active scouting. You can also pull back to here uh, and shoot down to anyone that's trying to cross. This is very good on, early on in the game as well because as long as you have someone that's actually spotted the light or the heavy tank, sorry, coming through here, then you can actually shoot them as they're pushing. So you can get some free damage right at the start of the game from this position. Um, but that's about it for this, for this side of the map. There's not really too many spots you can go to in your TDs um, apart from up, here, up there, but then you know, you might as well just go in here rather than over there because this spot over here is too far away from the action whereas you can go here, get behind a bush and just, you know, keep shooting at them. Um, so these two spots is where I recommend. Let's now move on to the other side of the map. Okay, so finally, this side of the map. Uh, as you can see, there are a few bushes that you can go into. So any one, any of the, one of these bushes over here, you can just go into and you'll, you'll have a pretty decent view of the uh, enemies as they're pushing, especially from over here. Uh, if they're pushing on this corner, you have this rock to uh, kind of protect you as well. So you can take your shot, you can, you know, fall back, or even even, even better, you can go full double bushed and then you're fine. Um, so anywhere around here is a good spot. Another good spot is that spot over there, but you do just need to be careful that when you fire, you're not, um, the bush is uh, fully solid. Uh, if it's not, then, and you can see through the bush, then chances are that you're going to get spotted. Because as you can see, we're basically in line with it nearly, and we're, our view range is way over there. So, you know, it's kind of close to the enemies, but not so close that you get spotted all the time. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're using that bush. Uh, but finally, the, the last position, which is just up here, it's going to take you a little bit of time to get to, because it's quite a steep hill. But... Right at the start of the game, you could go here and, you know, take your first few shots, see it, see what you can um, shoot at. Uh, you can actually see all the way to where the medium tanks are going to go. So this spot would be quite nice early on in the game, as I've already said. You just shoot them as they're coming up. Uh, also, TDs, uh, heavy tanks you can even shoot at. So if someone's in this position here and they're spotting any heavy tanks, you can take your shots, pull back, keep doing the same thing. So this position is really powerful early on in the game. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, then leave a, leave a like and uh, get subscribed because why not? It's completely free. You've got nothing to lose. Might as well subscribe to me. And if you don't like it, just unsubscribe. Uh, but yeah, 
Hope you did enjoy this video. Come and join the Discord. And I'll see you in the next one.